All right, well, welcome to our webinar Wednesday. And today we are again featuring a fundraising um, focused webinar for our one walk that we have coming up. And um, we are have, have a guest speaker, Ainsley Cannon, who's joining us today. And she um, she is the team captain of Ramen's Noodles. Let me pull up my PowerPoint really quick and share it to, oh crap, share it to the screen, <laughs> please. Um, <laughs> apparently I closed it down. Um, but Ainsley has been with our walk for uh, several, several years now. And I will let her tell her story a little bit more. So I have to pull up my PowerPoint really quickly. Um, but we're grateful to have the Cannons um, involved with Chadiara and for their commitment and dedication to supporting our mission to find a cure for type one. Um, screen really quick and we will be up and running. Okay, there we go. So first off, um, I am Stacey Bullen and I am the development manager for our chapter and I manage our peer-to-peer -peer fundraising program, so the walk and the ride. And uh, just to share a quick overview of our mission, we are focused on finding a cure for type 1 diabetes and um, its preven preventions and complications as well. And we um, focus our funding on how we can do the greatest amount of good in the shortest amount of time for the largest amount of people. And um, so obviously our vision is a world without type one diabetes, but we recognize that uh, a cure for type one is incredibly complex and it means something different for everyone depending on where you are at in your progression of your disease. Um, so we have focused a lot of effort in improving people's lives today and tomorrow through uh, ex by accelerating life-changing breakthroughs as well. So things like prevention of type 1, um, better, faster acting insulins, better insulin delivery methods, um, and things like that. So um, we do that through fundraising, obviously, and our walk is coming up on September 26th. It is virtual this year, and we have a really awesome team captain here to share with us her success that she had uh, earlier this summer with the High Five campaign. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of the High Five campaign, uh, but it's a really easy way to engage your friends and family. Um, but I'm not gonna steal Ainsley Slender, I'm gonna let her talk. Um, so I'll let her introduce herself and her family. Okay, thanks, Stacy. Uh, yeah, so my name's Ainsley Cannon. My daughter, Romney Cannon, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes uh, November 7th of 2015. So it's been, we're coming up on her five year anniversary. And um, we've been doing the walk. Now, this will be our fourth year doing the walk. So um, you can see the picture of our family there. Romney's our oldest. She's there in the middle holding the sign next to me. And uh, we've all gotten involved in the walk and really feel like it's a great way for our family and for our friends to get involved. Uh, after Romney's diagnosis, we've had so many people come up to us and ask what they can do to help, how they can support. And um, after doing lots of research, we know that JDRF is the organization that's really working so hard to find that cure that we're looking for for Romney. So uh, we want to get, we've gotten behind them 100% to keep working on finding that cure. Um, let's see, so these pictures are last year's walk, which was our biggest walk yet. Um, we raised about $10,500 with our team there. And um, in the past, our main go-to for raising money has been bake sales. So um, Romney's a great baker, I love to bake. Uh, we, we used to own a, a small catering company. And so, and we've got amazing <laughs> neighbors who all are just phenomenal bakers. And so it's been such an easy way to um, just set it. We do it just one day in the summer and set up a big table and do lots of advertising on social media and people come. And that's usually been the big chunk of our um, donations. So knowing uh, what we knew about this year and um, you know coronavirus and everything, we knew that the baking option wasn't really gonna be available to us. So we started coming up with uh, new ideas. So that's where we came up with the high five idea. 
um, we were just chatting in the car. Oh yeah, here's a good, these are good pictures of Romney. So she just turned 16 last week, which is crazy that that picture was only taken like a year and a half ago and she looks so much younger. Um, I love this card though. The days that break you are the days that make you. That is Romney in a nutshell. She has such a positive attitude about everything, even from day one on her diagnosis day, we see her there in the ER. Um, she has had a really positive attitude. There's been very few days where she's just like, doesn't want to deal with it, but of course she's allowed those days too. So that's Romney for you. Um, so here's the high five campaign that we came out with. We were sitting in the car, um, me and Romney and her dad, Logan, and we were thinking, wow, we've got a lot of like fives going on. What could we do with that? You know, you're not supposed to shake hands. You're not supposed to give high fives right now. Um, but Romney's coming up on our fifth anniversary. Her birthday is July 5th, and we knew that JDRF's 50-year anniversary um, was this year. So we thought, okay, what can we do to kind of like tie this all together and do a campaign with that because we can't um, do our normal bake sale. So um, that's where we came up with this idea. Um, I guess I could just read it. Stacy, is that a good idea? <laughs> Let's read through it. We said, don't, give, don't high five, give five. So during this crazy year of facing unknowns, one thing remains constant for Romney. We still need a cure for type one diabetes. This year marks Romney's fifth anniversary. Her birthday is July 5th. It's been 50 years since JDRF was created. And our goal for JDRF one walk team is $5,000. With all these fives floating around, we thought it'd be great, a great idea to challenge all of our friends and family to donate at least $5 to help JDRF find a cure for Romney and so many others. Um, we know times are tough for a lot of us. All we ask is that you donate what you can, whether it's $5, 50, 555, or 5,000. And here's the best part. Everything donated through our Venmo account will be matched by our great friends at Adobe. So I just put up our, my Venmo link. Um, the reason I did that is because of this match we have with Adobe. If I have the money come to me, then I can get uh, donate it through Adobe and they're matching it. So that's why I did that instead of just donating to the link like we normally would do. So that was our basic idea. Um, I feel like a lot of people feel this way. I think when you're looking at somebody's donation campaign or whatever it is that they're trying to raise money for, it's hard to know what an appropriate amount is. You don't want to... Um, embarrass yourself by giving way less than everyone else, but you also have to think about your own budget and what you can donate. So I thought it was important that I actually list on there, you know, whatever you can give. Um, it's been fun to watch some of the donations come in for $55 and 55 cents. Like there's a lot of people that have really like taken the five thing and run with it. Um, I did get one for $555. So <laughs> that was from uh, Romney's grandpa. So I think it's, that's been really helpful to actually put on there, here are your options as far as what you can donate. And um, we've had a lot of people just, you know, take that five idea and really run with it. Can I jump in too? Really yeah. Um, and so one thing Ainsley sent me is that she also noted in her texting. So this, she didn't just post this on Facebook, she sent it out via text message as well. Um, which I think is really great because a lot of people aren't on Facebook or people often uh, are on Facebook on different times and they don't see things that you post depending on when you do it. So when she texted this out, she said, uh, share this message with five friends as well, which if you guys remember the ice bucket challenge several years ago was so successful because of the viral component. So five people shared with five more people, which so it spans your reach exponentially and you get to 100 people very easily with just a few people sharing. So um, I've added a few expert tips here to these um, slides. So um, we just talked about the text messaging. So did you get a lot of results from text messaging and Facebook? Yeah, to the texting probably resulted in more donations than Facebook, um, especially because I was able to put that Venmo link live like so people, people could just, you know, text it or click on it. And the challenging people to pass it on to five more people, it was impressive how many donations I got on my Venmo just that same day from people I did not know at all, but they would say, so-and-so passed it along. I know so-and-so with type one diabetes. And 
I think any of us in the type one world know that it's, it really, people start coming out of the woodwork. Everyone seems to know someone with um, type one diabetes. And so when they get those texts from their friend, it's all automatically this instant connection, like, oh, that's awesome. I, I know so-and-so who has type one, I would love to help them out. Um, so I did get quite a few from the texting and from people I didn't know because of challenging people to pass it on. I challenged myself to text 50 people. So that's what I'm at right now. And Logan hasn't done his 50 yet. I've challenged him, that's my husband. And so I'm sure he'll get on that any second now. He's got 50 more people that he can text. And so that'll, that'll make a huge difference to keep, keep that going. So what are your results thus far since July 5th when you implemented? So, so far we're at $1,500, which will be matched by Adobe. So that's 3,000. Um, last year, our walk, we raised, we raised 10,500. And so that was with the Adobe match. And so I was really hoping that, hoping that we would personally be able to raise 5,000 and then have it matched so we could um, at least get really close to our goal that we made last year. Um, we'll see. You know, with things being what they are, it, it is a little harder to get some of these donations coming in, but um, we're going to keep our goals high and just keep at it. So the one thing I love about this is it's such a low barrier for people to participate. Mm -hmm. so a lot of times, like you mentioned, when you don't give people a suggested donation amount, sometimes they just feel paralyzed. But yes, I don't know what to give. I want to give, but I don't. So I, I encourage people to self-donate to their own fundraiser, and that's kind of the benchmark people look at to see, okay, Ainsley donated $20 or $50 to, to her cause, then I'll, I'll match that. Right. Um, yeah. So that's all, always a good suggestion I tell people. But I love the, the Venmo option as well. JDRF has such great fundraising tools, but sometimes it's just so much easier to click that button on your phone. I, we all have Venmo on our phone. Mm -hmm. like, it's yeah, that's common these days, and it's so easy to just send over five dollars um, to a friend for for a good cause. Um, and Ainsley mentioned her uh, matching gift as well, and I I encourage everybody to look into finding um, some kind of matching donor. There's a lot of people out there who are willing to support a good cause, and if they can leverage their um, their generosity to help raise more money. So if you can say, I have a matching donor who's going to match the first $200 of our donation drive, um, that, that motivates people to give because they know that there's the possibility of adding more to the total. So um, whether you have a workplace uh, donor, a lot of companies have matching gifts. If you um, have a friend who works for a company that has matching gifts, um, it goes a long way um, when you are collecting a lot of cash. So I would, I would consider, have you considered that option as well? Everybody, ha everybody's work works for someone, right? <laughs> and we have a lot of friends. Yeah. So, do you want to well, talk about the matching gift at all? Yeah. Or? Well, and the other thing that I didn't understand at first too, this, at least this is true with Adobe is that it, it doesn't have to be that employee's personal funds. They just have to be donated in that employee's name. So our matching donation last year, um, our great friend, you know, did donate a little bit himself, but he, we were able to, to put our entire amount towards his name. And so he was able to get the match for the entire amount, not just the small personal amount that he had donated. So just to keep that in mind, when you're talking to friends and family that work for companies that have that matching gift, it doesn't have to be, at least in our case, just what that person is donating it can they can match usually the whole amount that you're putting in towards JDRF so that makes right a and difference. <laughs> I think um what JDRF has a database you can search online uh, I know a lot of people have asked me before like how do you find companies that have matching gifts um if you go to matchinggifts.com slash JDRF um and I will publish that when I publish publish this video to YouTube um, you can look up by company name um, and their parameters around giving. So whether the minimum is $10 or $50, um, it's, you can look up by company name how um, to get the matching gift from that company. So um, 
I, I'll interject this. This is from another chapter within JDRF. Um, if you use some fun graphics, um, a lot of times it's eye catching and this cute little boy here, they, um, they isolated his picture around here with the high five. I've seen a lot of families write things on their kids' hands saying, help me find a cure or um, oh, create a world without T1D or something like that. Um, just to visualize the aspect of the high five. Um, and then if you have the option to include your link or your Venmo handle on the image as well, um, that's always a great way to show, um, show people how to participate in your fundraiser. If you need help creating a graphic like this, I'm more than happy uh, to use some software that Canva has a great um, background suppression option. I don't know if you have ever used Canva, Ainsley. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a lifesaver, I will tell you that. Um, but they have a lot of great options for editing pictures. Um, but if you need help, feel free to contact me and uh, we'll figure that out for you. Do you have anything else you want to talk about, Ainsley, before we close it up? I think that's it. Just if you don't have a team this year and you want to donate to Ramen's Noodles, you can Venmo me at Ainsley Dash Cannon. I'd love uh, all the support we can get. Perfect. So, as you guys know, we're running our Unified Utah County 29 County Challenge. So, there's 29 counties in Utah. Um, we've set a really ambitious goal to recruit at least one team from every county in the state. And um, there's a lot of rural areas in Utah, and I'm warning it might be a more difficult challenge than we have. We currently have um, seven counties represented right now. Um, so anyway, join us in our, in our challenge to recruit a team from all 29 counties in Utah and register at walk.jdrf.org slash Utah and uh, sign up a team or sign up as an individual and just get your fundraising started. Um, this is a really challenging year for all nonprofits and JDRF is definitely no different. Um, there's so much unknown and so many people who are um, worried about a lot of different things, but diabetes uh, is still uh, a part of everybody's lives and we are still working very hard on finding cures and treatments and prevention methods for type 1 and we would love to have you join us um, whether you raise five dollars or five hundred dollars five thousand dollars we um, would love to have you as part of our team this year um, and I am also including my email address um, if you need any help registering fundraising, linking to Facebook, initiating the High Five campaign. I'm more than happy to help um, anybody who needs assistance with getting the fundraising started or even getting registered. So feel free to reach out to me um, about anything, uh, anything walk related. Um, I just want to tell Ainsley, thank you so much uh, for sharing with us today and for all your guys' hard work over the last several years. We really appreciate your family and everything you do for us. So uh, we appreciate you guys too. <laughs> thank you. Um, so we will get this published to YouTube and get it uh, put on our walk homepage for you to view and get that high five campaign implement implemented. Um, but we will be back in a week or two with another topic uh, to help you with your fundraising and we hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. recording. There we go. <laughs>